Hello everyone, my name is Frey, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you a very nice glow effect, more of a luminous glow, and it's really simple and easy to achieve and produces a really nice, almost perfect kind of glow. So here's an example of the glow itself. As you can see, I applied it over text, but it can be used for anything, any basic shape that you have. It can be used for any layer, even. Not any. It doesn't have to be restricted to shapes. It can be used for any layer. Of course, you can use it in two-dimensional design to produce a really nice luminous glow. Uh, so let's get started on showing you how I created this. Actually, let's not delete that. So basically, the background is just a simple uh, dark color, and then I added a brush, but that's not really important. The uh, that's not really that's just the background process, but the actual glow effect is even more simpler than that. Uh, what you want to do is go ahead and grab the colors that you want for your background. So I'm just going to make it uh, for your text or your uh, illuminated object. So go ahead and, you know, I'm using text in this example for now and type out what you want. So, for example, I'm just going to type in glow and I'm going to add the brackets that I had in the example. Now I'm going to highlight this and go to my color and change it to orange. I don't want it exactly orange, I want it uh, a certain shade of it. I'm just going to go ahead and use the eyedropper tool to copy the color onto the other bracket and there we go. We got a nice glow. Now we got to do, now what we want to do after this is because we actually selected our colors already for the glow, all you have to do is rasterize the layer which because you're not gonna, you're no longer editing it, it'll make it easier. Especially because after you duplicate it, you're gonna have to Gaussian blur it. Now that you've duplicated the layer, you wanna go ahead and make it screen. Of course, you can choose linear dodge add or color dodge or lighter color, and you'll achieve varying glow effects. Now, after, you, after you've done that, go ahead and head on over to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and as you can see, we already have a very nice glow. You can of course change it to any uh, radius and it'll give you a much harder glow or a much more illuminated dispersed glow as you can see. I'm going to leave it at 15 in this case and of course if you change it you get different effects on how the actual blending mode is applied. So I'm going to leave it on screen, and there we go, looks the same. Of course you could always drop the opacity of the glow if it's too powerful, which is what's so great about this. It's so easy to create this illuminated glow, and it's so easy to change it to suit whatever particular glow effect you want. Now this can be applied to a sh basic shape as easy as text. You can use brushes. For example, I'm going to use this uh, preset circular brush. I'm going to go to Window, Brush. I'm going to make the spacing particularly big and the size much smaller. I'm not going to close this. I'm going to leave the color green. Of course, if you want it any particular color, go ahead and set that right now. And after you do that, you want to go ahead and grab your pencil. In this case, you want to create a straight line. Put your start point and your end point wherever you want the line to begin and end. Go ahead and stroke path. Uncheck simulate pressure unless that's exactly what you are going for, which isn't what I'm going for. Stroke path. Uncheck that. OK. Delete path. And it's as simple as before, where you duplicate the layer. By the way, by the way I'm duplicating it, I'm holding Alt. While I'm, hold, while I'm clicking the layer, and then I'm just dragging another copy on top. That's an easy way to duplicate layers for you, and an easy way to apply the same filter I already have, which is Gaussian Blur, is by pressing Control F. And now again, I could just go ahead and make it screen, and there you go. We got a nice glow effect on these two-dimensional circles, and we got that nice glow text, and that's 
just as simple and easy as it is and you get really nice glows. So I hope you guys enjoyed and if you would like to take a moment to leave a like on the video, I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, this has been Frey and I hope you enjoyed the tut.